Welcome back to Diecast Overhaul. Got some new gloves here, but the main thing is we got this Fox Body Mustang, part of the Hot Wheels art cars. I'm gonna do just a basic uh, transformation on this one. I'm gonna do a recolor and uh, some new wheels. Nothing too crazy with this one, but let's get started with drilling out the posts. Everything on this is extremely clean, considering it was just fresh out of the box. So there's no dirt or grime or nothing all in the crevices. But let's get these wheels out. Definitely not going to save these. Don't have any use for them. The plastic bases are nice for getting the uh, wheels out. They pop out pretty easy. Got some green light wheels I'm going to use for this one. Let's slide them in just to uh, see the kind of clearances we need. I do want the wheels to move. Obviously right now they don't. So the front's definitely gonna need to come down a little bit, just give a little bit of clearance, maybe trim up the fender a little bit. I wanna kind of keep it like a stock look to it though. So I don't wanna cut around too much with it. Back's about perfect height. I uh, just gotta be able to get it to roll smoothly. And it looks like I'm going to have to trim in here too because it's pretty wide. Back should be good, but the front will have to uh, be trimmed up. I'll start with that first before I start cutting away at anything else on here. But first, let's get this scuffed up with the wire brush and put in the stripper. So that's it. Should just fall right off. Look at that. Hopefully get all in the crevices nicely. That's usually the only spot that I have to really get with the uh, brass brush. Guy back from the scrubbing. Let's get the uh, wheels done now. Make sure they fit in there before we start painting. Front's all shaved up now. Can actually fit the axle through. she rolls kind of still pretty tight so I'll make some axle tubes so that way it can roll nice and let's get some primer on it now while I wait for the paint to dry I'm gonna see what I can do about this front here get the wheels to spin a bit smoother I'm thinking maybe just get rid of the clips here uh, I might be enough because they don't slide too much side to side and so as long as it can roll pretty freely the top of the car has little notches in it that'll kind of hold it in place. So let's see about cleaning those up. Still kind of tight. Alright, that should roll a lot better with the uh, top just holding it down. I'm going to do the same for the rear. I may have to make spacers for these ones so it doesn't slide back side to side. Perfect. Once the paint dries, I'll get that on here and test it all out. It does roll nice and smooth, but before I go any further with doing the wet sanding on this, I still have to drill out the holes. Almost forgot.
That's better. For the glass, I gave it a tinted effect on the rear glass. I used a Sharpie to color it in. I did it on the inside of the glass, as you can see. Uh, the outside, it looks nice and smooth, got a nice finish. So let's get everything all assembled now. All finished up and this thing's starting to look like a real Mustang now. Ready to tear up the streets, hit some crowds, do some normal Mustang stuff, you know, some smoky burnouts. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations of something I should try or do next or you know, anything, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, you guys.